Today, I'm going to talk about induction motor and to be more specifically, is split phase motor, which is a kind of induction motor. First, I'll talk about the induction motor. So this is an example of induction motor, which is the split phase motor. So what is the induction motor? It's a kind of AC motor that the power source is fed through the field winding of this uh, primary winding of the rotor uh, of the stator of the stator and then uh, it'll go through it'll create a uh, induced a uh, current onto the secondary winding and then we'll make the parts that will create a magnetic field that cause the rotor to rotate okay next um, I'm going to talk about what is single phase induction motor single phase induction motor is different from typical induction motor which is three phase single phase um, they uses uh, is a normally is a capacitor start motor. So with a capacitor in the in series with the field winding, with, sorry the start up winding, so it can create an LC circuit that will produce a phase shift into the circuit. Therefore, uh, but in our example, we are talking about split phase motor. Split phase motor is uh, is a single phase motor that has no uh, capacitor. As you can see in the circuit, there's no capacitor. There's only a starting winding and a sec in the run winding. So the current, the input current is here and the input um, voltage is here. So this is a starting winding, this is the run winding and this is a centrifugal switch. This is a switch that only used when the motor started. So when the motor started, uh, the switch is on until the speed of the rotor reach until 75 to 80 percent of the synchronous speed and then this uh, switch is off so this start winding has a induct is inductive in nature and this run winding is resistive in nature therefore we will make a graph something like a run winding that is closer to the inductance reactance sorry reactance and the start winding closer to a resistance so with a summation of the starting current and a running current, you will form the input current. So this is how the electrical circuit looks like and this is the rotor. The rotor is between both winding. So I'm going to talk about how the motor in, uh, looks like in real life application. So this is an example of a stator. Stator is a stationary part of the motor. So first I'll talk about the field winding. This is a field winding that I, uh, it's also a start winding so it's darker in color and it's larger in diameter and more coil of it so next is the start winding this is a start winding start winding is smaller in diameter less coil and slightly less uh, the color is not that dark as the field winding next uh, this is the rotor part of our uh, split phase motor so rotor is the rotating part of the motor that will generate um, based on the induced current you rotate this part so this is the this is the secondary winding that that the current can induce on so um, lastly is a pole of the magnet so you can see there's a pole of magnet here so this is the pole of the magnet okay so what is the external characteristic of this split phase motor? First, they have a low starting current. They have a moderate starting torque. They operate at constant speed just like typical uh, induct, induct, induction motor. Because induction motor has a property of constant speed. They are reversible but at low speed, they have a rapid acceleration, low cost. So this characteristic are suitable for small application um, so they are meant for low power application from 50 watt to 500 watt so some of the application you can use is a washing machine uh, a fan normally this kind of thing even a grinding machine because they uses not much power to grind the, the torque required is, is not too large since they have a moderate starting torque so it is suitable for this kind of application because it does not require changing speed. Like washing machine, it doesn't require a changing speed. A fan 
just a slight changes and grinding machine also normally don't have change in speed. So that's all for my presentation today. Thank you.